Yo, 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 okay, we are good, we are ready to film, let's go. Uh, hey, Sydney here. So I had to return the Sony 35 1.4G Master Lens. Oh, love that lens so much, it's so good, but I had to return it. But I still have the Sony 24 1.4G Master Lens, and I don't think I even told you I had the 24 1.4G Master Lens, but I do, I had this lens and it's awesome. But since the Sony 35 millimeter is already out, a question you might wanna ask is, which prime lens should I get? The Sony 24 1.4G Master Lens or the Sony 35 1.4G Master Lens? So I'm looking at the B&H website and I'm comparing both the 24 1.4 and the 35 1.4 and they're essentially the same exact lens. I mean, there's like minor differences, but really the major difference between these two lenses is the focal length. The 24 is wider, obviously, and the 35 is a tighter lens. Both lenses can go from f1.4 to f16. They both have a 67 millimeter filter thread. Both lenses have 11 rounded circular blades, and both lenses have pretty much the same body and design. For the 24 1.4 lens, you got a smooth focus ring. You got the aperture ring that's de-clickable. There's a de-click switch on the side. You got the multi-function button on the other side, and of course the autofocus and manual focus switch. And when I held both lenses in my hands, like they were pretty much indistinguishable. I mean, the 35 millimeter was slightly heavier and slightly taller, but at first glance, I couldn't really tell the difference. I've decided not to use like any studio lights. I'm just using natural light from the window. And ooh, look at that. So this video isn't really about comparing the lenses technically because I think both lenses are great. But if you have to ask the question, which lens should I get, either the 24 or the 35, really it's a matter of preference and which focal length you prefer. I personally prefer the Sony 35 millimeter 1.4 because 35 millimeters is my favorite focal length. It's not too wide, it's not too tight, and it's just right. And when you film your subjects at a certain distance, the bokeh that it renders is just so creamy, so beautiful, and it has this cinematic quality that not many wide or standard lenses have. Oh, and of course, with a 35 millimeter lens, the background is a bit more compressed, which looks really great and really adds to that cinematic look. The 24 1.4, however, does have a wider field of view, which can be very advantageous for maybe if you're shooting in tight spaces or if you want to shoot some astrophotography and really ideal for like wider shots. The only thing though with the 24 millimeter focal length is that if you shoot a sub a little too close, then you might see some distortion in the center or in the corners of the composition just because that's the nature of 24 millimeter lenses. Ooh, this is cool. I don't, well, actually it's not kind of cool, but it is kind of cool. Maybe, maybe I should change the angle. <laughs> There we go, that's a, that's a little better. Oh, nope, no, it's on my shirt. So I'm not saying anything bad at all about the 24 1.4, but when it comes to deciding which lens you should get, really it's just a preference if you like wider focal lengths or tighter focal lengths. Probably should have filmed earlier in the day because now the sun has gone or it's blocked by the house next to me. Okay, well, I'll just have to increase the ISO, all right. The crazy thing, well maybe not so crazy, is that both lenses, the 24 and the 35, are exactly the same price. Like other than a few mechanical differences and the different focal lengths, they're essentially the same exact lens. They both perform great in low light, they're fast in autofocus, they're lightweight, they're small, and they feel really balanced with cameras like the a7S III, the a7 III, or the a7C. So I don't think you can really go wrong with either lenses, it's just a matter of preference. And my preference is the Sony 35 1.4, which I miss having right now. Oh, can you just appear in my hands right now? That'd be That'd be awesome. And also kind of freaky, I'd freak out. I kind of like filming at this angle. I might film at this angle more often. I just gotta time it out with the sun. Darn you house. Oh, my neighbor just came. Hi, just filming. The windows are closed. Oh, hold on. All right, well, those are my thoughts on both these lenses. <laughs> He's laughing at me now. But let me know, <laughs> I can't do this. But let me know in the comments below which lens do you think is better? Are you team 24 millimeters or are you team 35 millimeters? Obviously there's no lens here. Just wishful thinking. But thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. Thumbs up, subs, and all those good things down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.